What is up you guys? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackenzie. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. So as you can tell, today's video is going to be all about the nails. I apologize in advance to all my stained glass viewers. I'm going to be showing you guys how I got these beautiful pink sparkly nails using products from Madam Glam. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I use their Ilio Pro UV LED lamp and their gel polishes. So if that sounds like something you're into, Let's get started. Okay, guys, so first things first, we've got to prep the nails. As I've said before, this is the most important process whenever you're doing anything to your nails. If you're just painting them with gel polish, you keep them natural. If you're putting acrylics on them or gel extensions like I do, the prep is the most important part. If you have any dust, any natural oils, or anything on your fingernails, the nail bed itself, that's going to prevent whatever product you're putting on top from sticking. So the most important part is gonna be pushing back the cuticles, filing everything down, and gently buffing the surface of the nail. So I'm just going to quickly do that and then we can pop on the gel extensions. Like I said, first thing I'm gonna do is go in and gently push back all of my cuticles. Pushed all the cuticles back, now I'm just going to file the free edge of the nail just to make everything look nice and even and short because I don't like the look of my natural nail growing out underneath my extensions. So I'm going to file the free edge, then I'm gonna go in with my nail drill in a very, very low setting and buff the surface. But first, let's take care of the free edge. And now we've got to file the, the actual surface of the nail. So normally you want to use a very soft grit hand file while you're doing this, but I don't have patience for that. I've got a very soft sanding belt on here. I'm going to turn my drill way, way down on a very low setting, and I'm just going to lightly buff the surface of the nail. Then I'm gonna go back in with a hand file to really get into all of the corners and the edges of the nail. Again, we're on a very, very low setting. Okay, so now I'm going to switch drill bits. So these are my two favorite tips for blasting away any extra dead skin around the cuticle area. Again, we are using such a low, low, low setting on the nail drill. All right, now that I've done that, I'm gonna put my drill to the side. Now I'm going to grab my file. This is a brand new file, so I'm gonna take an old one and just hit the edges of this brand new file really quick just to avoid giving myself any paper cuts. Now I'm going to take this file. This is a 100, 180 grit. I'm gonna go side 100, maybe 180 really, really lightly in some spots, especially focusing on these inner corners. Once you get to the inner corners of your nails, this is what a lot of people forget. You have to pull the skin back. You've gotta pull the skin back with another finger like you see me doing here with my pointer and then get in there with the file. If you don't pull that skin back, there's going to be surface nail that hasn't been buffed. Okay, so filing is done. Cuticles are taken care of. Now I've got to clean my workspace, brush off my nails. All right, everything is looking and feeling dust free. Now I'm going to go in with my prep and clean. So this is just a nail dehydrator. Once I dehydrate my nails, I'm going in with no lift nail primer. Okay, so they are cleaned and primed. Now we're gonna let these sit for a minute or two while they dry. You can see the nail beds are still damp and we want those to be completely dry before we start putting any product on. So I'm just gonna give these a couple minutes to do so. 
Okay guys, so while my nails finish drying, let's talk about Madam Glam. Madam Glam reached out to me a couple months ago wanting to send me some of their stuff, and that's what we've got right here. So they sent me a few of their gel polishes, top coats, regular colors, base coats, and a full-size lamp. So last couple months, I've been testing out all of these gel polishes because I really wanted to see the longevity of them on somebody like me. I work with my hands, my hands get wet a lot, I'm on glass grinding machines, I'm hard on my hands, I'm a gardener, so I really want to put these to the test. I even wore them on my vacation to see how they held up. The only color that I didn't test is the one we're going to test out today so you guys could get my first impressions at the same time. So we'll talk about how I feel about these gel polishes a little bit later since I do have quite a bit of experience with them at this point now. So let's put those to the side. So for this part guys I am using the usual. I use E-Nail Couture for my gel extensions as well as the press on gel and base coat. So we're just going to match up my sizes which I already know pretty by heart at this point. So this finger on my left hand is a little bit smaller than my right hand. So I like to file that side in just a tiny bit just to make it match up a little bit better. So I've got all my tips ready to go. Now we can start to adhere them. So if you guys haven't seen this done before, it is a very simple process. All you need is your base coat gel and your press on gel. So first up is the base coat. So I'm just going to paint my left hand with this base coat just like you would paint a normal color on and then we're going to cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. Okay, so base coat is cured. I will say this lamp is strong. The second I put my hand inside of there, I felt the heat coming. Love that, this thing cures and it cures quick. So I've got my mini lamp back here. Our base gel is going to go to the back so it doesn't get cured. Now we've got our press on gel. Essentially what we're doing here is filling up this well in the back of the tip. Starting at the back of the nail, we're going to press the tip on until it's perfectly in place. No bubbles, we're gonna hold it down and flash cure it. I'm going to take quite a bit of gel out of there and I'm going to paint over the area that's going to come in contact with my nail. Then I'm going to dip back in and get a good amount of gel to fill this back area right here. And essentially what we're doing is building the apex of the nail with this gel. So this is where all the strength of the nail is going to come from. We're gonna build up quite a bit of gel pulled up in the back here. You don't wanna to do too much because then it'll start squishing out the back and out the sides and you don't want it to do that. You want just enough. So now I'm gonna quickly turn the lamp on, flip it, starting in the back and squish the nail over my natural nail then we're going to flash cure it. All right, so that should be flash cured well enough. You don't wanna put any pressure on that nail or anything. That is just essentially being held in place as we move on to the rest of this hand. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to paint the area, make sure we're completely covering the area that's going to come in contact with the nail. Then we're going to fill up the back side with a bit more gel. All right. Mini lamp on, flip, starting at the back of the nail, squishing it forward until we've got full contact, hold it in place, and flash cure. Oh, that's getting hot. I messed this nail up bad yesterday, guys. I was building a dog sand box for my Shepsky, because of course she's a husky, she likes to dig, so I built her a little sandbox where it is appropriate for her to dig if she's in the mood to do so, and I messed this nail up bad. I almost ripped it clean lean off so that baby is nice and sore. That's flash cured. Now we're gonna move on to the next and we're gonna do the same thing for every single nail. Okay, we can shut our little mini lamp off. All of these nails have been flash cured in place. They should look something like this. Once we're done completely curing them, we're going to go in and lightly file at the back of the nail to just try to help blend this nail extension into our natural nail. So when we paint it, it looks seamless. We flash cured them. So now I'm just gonna hit the low heat setting and completely cure these nails. 
Alrighty guys, this hand is now completely cured. You can do whatever you want with this hand. It is as strong as it's gonna get. So now we're gonna do the same exact steps all over again on my right hand, starting with the base gel. Okay, we are fully cured. Our nails are solid on. Now it's time for the fun part. But before we get to that, just like you prep your natural nails before you do anything, we've gotta prep these ones too. I'm gonna grab a nail file and I'm just going to simply hit the top of the nails because there's a little bit of a almost a tab mark from when these nail tips are being produced that I just like to file away a little bit and then like I said earlier I'm gonna take the soft side of the nail file and hit around the backside edges of the tip and try to blend it into my natural nail just a little bit more Okay, now that that's done, we're going to take a filing block and we're going to buff the entire surface of each nail. We want to make sure that it's a nice rough surface for all of our gel polish to grab onto. Okay, nails are filed and buffed. Now is the point where I'm okay to go wash my hands. So I'm gonna go wash my hands with warm water and soap, completely dry them, make sure they're dust free, and we'll get to the fun part. Okay guys, nails are cured, hands are clean. Like I mentioned earlier, I have been testing these gels for the last couple months. So I had tried the base coat, I had tried the top coat. Overall, love them. Absolutely fantastic gel polishes. So the only one, like I said, I haven't tried is this one called Called organic lavender because I wanted to save it for a first impressions here in this video today so that's what we're gonna be using today but I'm gonna be doing a light pink coat underneath it so my birthday's coming up soon I'm getting a tattoo on Thursday I want to have nice fun sparkly birthday type color for my nails and this is a very very chunky glitter and I love very see-through glittery colors but this has such a thick glitter to it I think think it would look even prettier if we put a base coat underneath it. So I'm gonna do a very light jelly pink underneath and then we're gonna put this on top as the main star of the show. So I'll put in videos of what these other colors look like. Okay guys, starting with Upper East Side, as you can see, it's just an absolutely beautiful stone gray, deep, shiny, beautiful color. It's beautiful, not much more to say. Okay, you guys, so I was originally just going to show what these polishes look like once they were on and kind of through the weeks as I was wearing it, but this is one coat. This is one coat, I haven't even cured it or top coated it yet, of this glitter. This is a glitter polish. This is absolutely beautiful. Okay guys, last up is Perfect Black. Not too much to say there. If you guys wanna see it on my nails, you can see it in the very last video I posted, but it truly is a perfect black. It's a beautiful, beautiful, rich color, easy to use. I approve of all of these gel polishes, you guys, and they wear so well, especially on somebody with hands like mine that are working as much as they do. Really can't say enough good things about every single one of them. So what I do want to talk about is their base coat. So the base coat worked fantastic. However, because I have nail extensions and not natural nails, I think I don't even need it. So twice I ended up using the base coat on one hand and didn't use it on the other hand and the nail, the gel polish itself lasted just as long on both hands. I didn't have any chipping. I didn't have any issues. So I think if you're going to use a natural natural nail, then definitely use the base coat before you put your gel polish on. But if you're using a nail extension like I do, I don't even think you need the base coat because the gel polishes themselves are that good. I love them. I stand by them. So they had originally sent me top coats and on accident, they sent me a regular top coat, which is essentially a wipe top coat. And I like no wipe top coat. So they were supposed to send me a no wipe top coat, but they ended up sending me the exact same thing again. So I'm not going to be using Using their top coat either unfortunately so I'm just going to be using my regular no wipe top coat but we are going to be using like I said the star of the show organic lavender and I'll show you guys videos of what their other gels look like too since I've had the time to test them all out I love them like I said I stand by them it truly is the perfect black upper east side is that beautiful glossy gray and this fancy pants is that stunning one coat highly packed lavender glitter I need some more of this formula in 
in different colors. I can't get enough of it. I absolutely love it. So I love them. Like I said, I approve overall the gel polishes. I've been really, really impressed with. I haven't had any issues whether I use the base coat or not. The gel polishes themselves are just fantastic. You don't even need it. But I absolutely love them. I stand by them. And because of that, I've got a discount code down in my description box for you guys. But let's get these nails painted. I'm excited to see this last one since I haven't gotten to try it yet. Before we put on organic lavender, let me just get this pink jelly coat on really quick first and then we'll get to the fun part. Okay, so I just quickly put on a very light jelly color pink as the base here. I think this is going to be the perfect base color to a nice glitter like this organic lavender. So I'm going to give this a good shake just because this is a very chunky glitter. So colors like this can be a little bit finicky. It just takes a little bit of working around the gel once it's on your nail. So let's see. Look at how pretty. Stop. So cute. Like I said, this is a really chunky glitter. It's got very pretty different size pink and it looks like there are some iridescent glitters in here as well, which I love. We've got a little bit of dimension versus just one solid color glitter. And it looks like either two or three different sizes of glitters on here. So you wanna make sure you don't have too much on your brush at once and just gently kind of move that glitter around. So because we did that nice coat underneath it, that solid jelly color pink, it is really making that glitter pop and it looks beautiful. That looks really, really pretty. If that doesn't look like a birthday nail, I don't know what does. I don't know if I'm gonna wanna do a second coat or not, but let's do the rest of them cure and then see how we feel. Wow, wow, wow. I am really liking how that looks. I'm gonna hurry up and cure it. Those, if those ain't birthday glitters, if those ain't birthday nails, I don't know what is. Oh my gosh, this camera is never going to do it justice. I'm gonna have to take shots with my phone camera and I'll put those in at the end. Let's hurry up, get these painted. I'm gonna top coat these, do the other hand, and then I'll show you guys the final reveal with some footage from my phone camera. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know what it is. They're just so pretty. Just the perfect chunky, glitter. Okay, I tried to capture it on my phone and I don't know if even my phone camera is doing this justice, but this is beautiful. They came out so, so pretty. I need more. I need more shades of this and I need more shades of this formula. These two formulas are absolutely my favorite glitters that I own. I'm so excited. Okay, so yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to check out Madam Glam if you wanna use any of these products. I've got my discount code in my description box down below for you guys. And yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you did. Comment down below and let me know what do you wanna see next and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.